To the untrained eye, this is just a group of schoolgirls enjoying downtime at lunch. Look a little closer at the Year 11 students from Pimble Ladies College on Sydney's North Shore to find the youngest ever person to represent Australia in cricket, Elise Perry. Yeah, I guess it was a pretty surreal feeling, but one that I definitely enjoyed very much and I was, you know, very fortunate to be able to do it and, I mean, I don't try to look at, look at it so much as breaking a record, but just, you know, having the chance to play for my country at whatever age it was and, and just having fun at the same time and enjoying myself. Elise was 16 years and 261 days when she debuted for the Southern Stars earlier this year. If that's not enough, the now 17-year-old also plays for the Junior Matildas in soccer. You can probably do both, but at some point there's going to be a fork in the road. I try not to think about too much at the moment and, yeah, just sort of down the track I guess that's the decision I've got to make and I'm quite aware of that but um, yeah I'm just really enjoying both sports and that's what I want to be doing and you know when I have to make a decision that time will come and I'll make the right one for me. The all-rounder is also the youngest member of her competition winning state side the New South Wales Breakers and it was a fairly good debut season with some handy contributions with the bat and nine wickets at a respectable 24. What's it like to knock over the castle and hear the stumps fly? And what's it like to hit a four? Um, yeah, they're both, you know, probably great experiences and, and um, you know, they're different in a way, but I think also not to focus too much on what you're doing, but also your teammates. You know, I really enjoy sitting back on the sidelines and watching someone, you know, play a great innings or also, you know, hopefully helping out with someone bowling and trying to take a catch for them to get a wicket or something like that. Her ability on the field is matched by a maturity beyond her years and there's little doubt her feet are firmly planted on the ground. They'd probably give me a, quite a lot of stick if I was um, to, to up myself or anything like that. <laughs> I mean, that let me know. So, you know, it's, it's great to have people like these girls to come back to at school and, and, you know, just muck around with and have fun and not worry too much about other things, so it's great. <laughs> like most groups of schoolgirls, there's no shortage of giggling. A decent level of ribbing goes on as well, and the young Australian player isn't immune to it. Studies is spent, you know, with Elise looking up all the cricket players, and <laughs> there's one particular cricket player which I think she um, particularly likes. I don't know who Jeff is to. <laughs> I, think, I think you're pretty clear on this one. Who is it? Uh, Michael Lassie. Ah, uh, Mr. Cricket. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. She may well be thanking Jackie because the cricket show's Michael Slater organised a surprise. I think Mr. Cricket might be behind you. <laughs> there you go, Liz. How you going, all right? I am very well, thank you. Right. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> It's amazing, it took me 30 well. years to play for Australia and it's taken you 16. Yeah, we're doing a much better job than uh, I, I don't think so, I don't think so, yeah. Oh, oh wow. great. The young so, uh, sports star took meeting Mr Cricket in her stride. A bigger challenge sometimes is getting the balance right between the school books and the playing fields. You've had to miss a little bit of school. Yeah, well I think it's definitely very important to keep a, a healthy balance and you know schoolwork is very important and it's my future as well so you know I really try and balance that that out and I've got a lot of help behind me to do that. Like most cricketers, it all started in the backyard. For this teenager, it was fierce battles with her older brother. Oh, I tell you what, it's on and you know there's no love lost when that happens and I think that's great as well to just have that sort of friendship but also you know a sense of competitiveness and it, it's good fun and I really enjoy it. Probably a bit of disputing on the rules at times but um, it seems to work out in the end. Mum comes out and rules on it? <laughs> yep, I think just before I broke the window or something. So for young girls watching the cricket show today and, and are wondering whether hey, I wouldn't mind playing cricket, but no one else plays cricket. They all play this or they play that. What, what's your advice to them? Well, I think just get out and have a go and don't worry too much about the boys. You know, they're beatable, I think. And, um, you know, Cricket Australia have got some great um, things in place to encourage girls to um, play cricket. And, you know, it's a big part of Aussie culture and I don't see why girls can't play it. <laughs>